it's time to have a look at yet another pretty obscure and early Spectrum game. Billy Blue Bottle, published in 1984 by Power Software. And I've never heard of this one before, never played it. And I think Power Software was one of those uh, software houses that just popped out of nowhere and then just disappeared pretty quickly, without any trace. And I think they primarily published games for the ZX Spectrum. And I think they published five of them as far as I can find. But they also published at least one game for the uh, BBC Micro. And also made a joystick interface for the Electron. And no clue how successful these were. Can't really find too much information about it. And they did a lot of advertising even before before they started selling their games they had like pre-ads to just kind of tease about power software that was going to be the name of the game and maybe that was part of the problem that they spent a lot of money i think this was pretty costly doing all this advertising and then in the end the games maybe didn't sell that well and they just vanished I might make a deeper dive into this software house at some point because I just find it fascinating, uh, but it might be very hard finding any information about what happened really, so we'll see. But hey, let's have a look at Billy Blue Bottle. A pretty decent early Spectrum loading screen. Nothing amazing, but uh, looks okay. Kind of like the Power Software logo. It's maybe a bit big, but hey, they really wanted to push the power behind the software. And we've got some music, which I can see myself being slightly tired of rather quickly. And we can also get the game in three different languages. Mm, impressive for an early game, I suppose. Not that it's really necessary, there's not a whole lot of text in this game. Let's see if we can figure out this game. It's a weird one. We are a fly that um, needs to save a buddy down in the basement before that, you know, that poor fly down there to the left. Uh, dies from drowning. There's a lot of water, apparently. And I've tried to play this for a bit, and it, it's strange. I think we need to collect... Uh, I fell through the lift. Why? Can't I stand on the floor of a lift just because I'm a fly? That That's strange. Okay, never mind. Let's just carry it. We can push these things and just destroy these poor humans, which are very tiny, or maybe that flower pot and telephone are just huge so maybe we need to levitate a bit here Pape, maybe let's see can we oh god um yeah I, this doesn't make any sense why why do i need to fly in the lift and we can push these things as i've just did and i'm not sure what the point is for that i think we're supposed to get a water pump to the basement before that poor fly rounds because obviously he or she cannot um, mm, cannot uh, swim or fly Billy bites the dust but his bravery will be remembered oh thank you okay it's a bit sensitive the controls there or input keyboard input so I got a high score uh, thanks game that's nice of you and we also need to avoid the flypaper on the roof there. That, that, that's, that's bad. And this guy that walks around, I think he also emits either fart clouds or possibly DDT or something. Let's try this again. Can I... Oh, I can, like, touch the roof. That's nice. Oh, oh, that made things a lot si simpler. Yes, thank you, game. So why am I up here? Oh, there's a fart cloud. That's terrible. And we also need to replenish our power by eating rancid food or something or moldy food i think it was according to uh to the reviews because i couldn't find a manual oh bastard how am i supposed to know that <laughs> this is such a strange game what is going on kill this fella or maybe just confuse him a bit and i think we're supposed to get that water pump down there push it into the basement and do something to it. And there's also a throw button in the controls that doesn't seem to do anything at all. Um, so, yeah, this game is weird. It kind of looks kind of nice for an 84 game, I suppose. And I don't really need to eat any moldy food, but I'm going to do it anyway, because I'm greedy. Oh, maybe I did. Okay, fine, 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 fine. And I don't think... Can I... Uh, Maybe I shouldn't 
touch that thing. Oh, look at that. He made a fart cloud. That's great. Thanks. Thanks a bunch, dude. Uh, and then I have to wait because I can't get past it. I assume we're going to go for the pump, water pump, on the second floor. Or is that first floor, maybe? Yeah, I think it is. Let's fly past this bastard here. Wait for the lift because that's fun. I don't know why they have a lift here. That doesn't make any... S oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Of course, I can't fly when I'm going down. Ugh. <laughs> oh, God. Who came up with this and why? Just why? Ugh. But let's wait for the lift going down, I guess, and let's push this flower pot into the face of this poor clueless individual. Don't, don't touch, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Let's just rest on the floor and hopefully not die. Good, 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 good. And this person, I'm not sure what he or she, I think it's a she. Is he selling McDonald's food, maybe? Can we push this? This requires, no, I can't. For some reason, I can't push it. Oh, I can't sit on it either because that obviously destroys me horribly. This game. I, I I don't understand. What is going on? If I can't... I can't push this. So how am I supposed to get it to the basement? <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's anybody's guess, really. And I don't think the reviewers managed to uh, finish the game either. Uh, I don't think they got the water bump anywhere near the basement. At least one of the reviewers had definite problems here. Let's go down and... Uh, okay... Is that because there's water down there? But if there's... How am I... Oh, why? Now I am intrigued. I want to find out what is going on here. My initial idea was to kind of push uh, these items into the lift and maybe do something with them, but I don't think you can do that. They just get stuck. But let's go... Oh, I forgot. Oh, f Fudge. I wonder if we can go into the basement. Can we? I don't think the door opens, right? No. Okay. Fine. Let's go and experiment with the coffee pot, maybe. Or that desk. Oh, man, that's... That cost me a lot of... Uh, energy. Oh, he's a very strong little fly. But he needs his uh, moldy food. Oh, you fart. If anyone knows how to play this game, please let me know, because this is starting to fascinate me. For all the wrong reasons, of course, but... Yeah, I'm gonna go up and mess with the, um... Desk. Why? Well, I don't know. I haven't messed with it enough. I can't push it. Uh, alright. Can I... I can't land on it either, I think. Can I? No, that's bad. Let's get some power. Oh, we can push it now when I'm more... Oh, my God. <laughs> mm, well, that's fair. Apparently, I need more power to push the desk. So I'm guessing I need more power to push the... Um, the water pump, perhaps. And, of course, you can trap yourself if you push these items underneath the flypaper. Then there's really nothing you can do if you haven't got enough power. Grab the power. Maybe it's the power in the software. And there's a cloud there again. Jeez. Uh, oh, it's just a waiting game, isn't it? So now we have stinky food on the second floor, which is great, I think. So maybe we need to get the stinky food down to floor one. Let's try that, because I haven't got any better ideas. This is like an adventure game, almost, in a f weird way. No, no, don't push the phone. Just grab the... <sighs> I thought it was going to go down. Uh... Okay, let's see if we can go mess with the um, water pump. Yeah, let's just rest on the floor. I get confused sometimes, I'm sorry. B because now I've got plenty of power. I am playing with power. Oh, God, I thought you were going to go further. Oh. Billy bites to dust. That's not the only thing he bites. And it's so cute. Can you see down in the basement? Little flies calling out to me. Help me. Why should I help you? This is too much work. But again, I'm 
starting to get fascinated by this somehow. It's, it's just got this weird effect on me, this silly game. I want to find out what the hell is going on. What, what's the meaning of this? Why am I a fly? Why, why do I want to fix a water pump? I mean, I know why, but can I fix a water pump? Maybe if I have enough power. I've got a lot of power right now, but let's grab more power. I don't even know what we're supposed to call this a clone of. It is kind of unique in its own peculiar way. So I have to give the game points for that. And I will, of course, deduct some points for just plain obscurity and obtuseness. It, it really is. Can I? Yes, please. Let's... Yeah, let's not push too hard. We need to get it into the middle and... Are you joking? I mean, what what am I supposed to do here? I can't go up to the top floor and grab the moldy food. And I can't get past the flypapers. So what, what do you expect me to do? Can I use this throw function to do anything? No, I can't. I really, really can't. This is just so strange. And I again, I could not find the manual. So I'm going to have to go up twice to... Oh, let's try this again. Because I'm I'm stubborn. And as you can see, my energy is counting down by itself. I don't know why. But I think we can go in here and push it a little bit. Not too much, because that means that I can't get out. So let's push it. Can I push it twice? Yes, I can, I think. Uh, no, of course not. This This is... Okay, my fascination is wearing out. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know if it costs energy flying or it just counts down anyway. I think it just counts down anyway, so... At least the controls are responsive, you know. That's nice. Oh, the food moved. That's good. Good, 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 good. I think. Oh. How am I supposed to know that game? <laughs> I think this game introduces a new genre. It's uh, the waiting simulator. Waiting for a lift simulator. And it's very, very realistic. I'm super excited about the next game they're going to be releasing. The waiting in line on the phone to pay your taxes. Ah, the food moved. Excellent. All is going according to plan. Don't, don't spray me. So I thought the spraying was random. It seems that this person is a little bit hostile. Just a tad. But I can do this and he won't spray me. It's so boring waiting that I actually forget what I'm supposed to do. So that's kind of what throws me off with this game. But I'm also exceptionally stubborn today. Okay, you sneaky bugger. I might push... No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't punish me this time, please. Please, 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 please. No, no, don't touch that. Don't touch it. I keep telling you. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I think I need more power now. Oh, God. No. Oh, goodness gracious me. And for the love of all the flies in England. <sighs> You know what? I've had enough. Uh, I'm just going to have a look at a few reviews before I just go slightly insane. Home Computing Weekly awarded the game 3 out of 5 stars and they wrote, Billy Blue Bottle represents a difficult but uninteresting challenge. And yeah, that, that, they nail that for sure. And they also mentioned about the controls. There's also a throw key which seems to be useless. Yeah, I couldn't find any use for it either. I bet that's the key to solving everything though. And they also seem to fail to actually get to the pump. Your computer had a really short review and uh, they also gave it 3 out of 5 stars and they wrote, well, not really a lot. They said good graphics and all this company's titles have French and German menu options. And I guess that's nice, but what about the game? They don't really write anything about it. So yeah, that's a pretty useless review actually. But I have to say that the game at least is interesting. It's trying to do something different, but uh, is it succeeding? No, it's not really succeeding at all. It's just very peculiar and weird. And I would have loved to read the manual. Maybe that would have helped a bit. So not an absolute stinker, but certainly not a timeless classic or even mediocre fun. Just 
yeah, in the lower end of the ratings, I would say. I'll probably give it one and a half star out of five or something like that. And with that, I'm just going to say thanks for watching this video about this peculiar little game. And as always, hope to catch you next time. Cheers.